Hey, Mike, uh, this is Neela. This is uh, actually really interesting. And one of the things I find, I, I love love it when I'm talking to folks like you, is to understand a little bit, uh, making agility tangible. Because it's funny, you know, as a, uh, as a software vendor, I'll often talk about, and I'll hear anecdotally uh, from customers, how deploying or moving towards a software-defined data center makes make them more agile. But right. I feel like if you just use that word agility, it kind of is meaningless. So can you talk a little about a little bit about from your end, or Angela from your end afterwards. Um, like, can you give an example of a case in which you're able to better deliver value to the business that you weren't able to, say, two, three years ago? Sure, absolutely. So, we uh, about two years ago, we set off on, on converting our, our corporate enterprise ERP platform onto an SAP platform. So, I'm not going to go too deep into, into how we virtualized SAP. That's a whole other conversation. But we run a 100% virtualized SAP stack uh, today. And my finance team, after about a year into that process, went off and, and acquired a new module that, that runs on top of SAP that they, they were going to, to utilize to handle business planning and business consolidation, specifically at, at, at SAP's BPC for, for BW product. And mm -hmm. as only finance could do, they went out and bought the product without actually involving IT. <laughs> but what, what came to me was a request from our controller that said, here's the product we've bought, here are the basic requirements that the, the vendor's telling us. We've selected a software integrator, and they're gonna be on site in six to eight weeks. And I know that's gonna be pushing you as an IT organization, but can you make sure you have these basic requirements available to them when they show up? And, and after I took a deep breath and, and kind of had to not laugh a little bit, I said, I'll be go, oh, we'll go ahead and get you those environments before you walk out of the building today. And, and his eyes just kind of widened up, and, and his first thought to me was, "What do, do we did we pre-buy all this equipment sitting on our data center floor?" I said, "No, no, no, finance guys, we didn't buy that equipment. But what we can do today, tomorrow, and the next day is provide you the the basic sandbox and basic dev systems that that you need to start your project. We all know that no one needs their production environments the first day a consultant comes in the building. What they need is the tools to start their process, and our platform." based on this, this entire cloud architecture, lets me rapidly deploy environments to meet business demand. Now, I can't tell you exactly what the ROI was on this new business planning tool, because mm -hmm. I wasn't part of the, I wasn't part of the, the, the finance discussion sure. for it, but I, they obviously spent some good money on it. They wanted to deliver value back with this application. My job in that was delivering them in those environments at a much faster rate than they had expected. Mm -hmm. And ultimately what had happened was, we delivered them their sandbox, their development environments, he had to go back and call that SI and tell them to change their flights because they weren't going to have to wait six weeks to come on site. They could come in in two weeks. As soon as they could right. be in our building, they would have those environments. And really what it allowed me to do from an infrastructure perspective is spend some really quality time with the, that, that system integrator and my engineering team to make sure we had deployed in production the very perfect hardware fit. We didn't have to pre-buy that equipment. We got to see that application run and see how it, how it really utilized our environment and then we could go buy the products that we needed to fill in the, the gaps we had going forward. 